What is it that fascinates us about wild animals? What is it that makes us stop and stare in awe at the majesty of these creatures? We view most animals with a sort of detached appreciation and sense of wonder at the way they bless our lives. From childhood, pets teach us to care, to give, to empathize and protect. Throughout adulthood, they continue to contribute to our lives as guardians, entertainers, and friends. And when stealing a view of a wild animal, whether on a safari trip, protected in a zoo, or on the screen of our TV sets, we remember for a moment that we are not alone on this planet. Nature has blessed us with the creations of these creatures whose habits and behavior differ so much from ours. Or do they? They live to simply live and to find a place within the world where they can freely roam and explore all this world has to offer. Journey to Malaysia and step inside Melaka City for a moment. This place of wonder bears many tales of ancient history. As its country's cradle of civilization, its sights still tell of a past centuries old. Because of its preserved remnants and artifacts, its rich history and its wealth of culture, it is an appealing destination for voyagers to Malaysia. And located just 13 kilometers from Melaka City, in Ayer Kero, is the country's second largest zoo, habitat and home to more than 1,200 animals of over 200 different species, including 198 species of mammals, 100 species of birds, and 22 species of reptiles on exhibition, all kept and protected in their natural settings. The Malacca Zoo was first built in 1963, taken over by the Department of Wildlife and National Parks in 1979, and later, in 1987, officially opened to the public. And for the public, tourists, travelers, researchers, students, and families, it promises to be a very attractive site. Be prepared to get up close and personal with the Malayan gaur, Zero, and the Malayan tiger, all endangered animal species. The zoo is open for visiting daily from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on weekends you can have a splendid night experience when its gates open from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. As a member of the Southeast Asian Zoological Park Association, the zoo does more than just entertain. Due to the destruction of rainforests and illegal poaching in the past, many animal species numbers have dwindled, and some of the last remaining specimens in Malaysia have been brought here to be bred in hopes of multiplying and replenishing lost life. Those threatened species are found here in the Malaga Zoo, such as the tiger, tapir, and various types of deer. Researchers carry out animal behavioral studies, providing support for other researchers, conservation projects, and institutions. 
educating the public on conservation of wildlife is another one of the zoo's thrusts. This is achieved with lectures, video shows, publications, and informational science within the zoo grounds. Not surprising then that it brings every year over 400,000 people flocking to the zoo. For, like most Southeast Asian countries, Malaysia is rich in biodiversity of animal species. Biodiversity conservation is recognized as an international issue and Southeast Asia faces much crisis. But particularly in Malaysia, where the country is a biodiversity hotspot, threats come by way of forest fires, illegal hunting and wildlife trade. It is a constant challenge to maintain life in these parts, so the zoo education programs are structured to help visitors understand the importance of conservation. And while one can listen and be moved by the plea to participate in a personal effort to preserve life, the idea can only be fully understood and the concept appreciated when one has witnessed firsthand the beauty that is to be preserved. So, if you are the charitable type, you may volunteer your time and services to the zoo, getting involved with activities such as cleaning the animal exhibitions and joining in educational and promotional drives. In an attempt to attract more visitors and generate revenue as well as develop national tourism, the zoo offers affordable recreational promotions and activities. What other unique and rare animals can be found at the Malaga Zoo? There's the orangutan, one of the most endangered animals in the world. Camels, and for bird lovers, the African ostrich or the black swan are valuable sites. Then there's the other treasure of the Malaga Zoo, its mini safari. Open to the public in November 2000, you can find it right in the center of the zoo compound. Immerse yourself in the beauty of animals roaming freely. Besides its lush green landscape, there are two ponds and man-made streams. Bring your binoculars to spy on giraffe, zebra, imu, and ostrich in this natural phenomena of rare animal activity. Children will love the elephant and horse riding activities, available on weekends and public holidays. Then, if you are keen on the idea, why not adopt an animal as your own? The Zoo Melaka Adoption Scheme will give you the opportunity to do just that. Individuals, private companies or corporations may sponsor wildlife species within the zoo. Mahatma Gandhi once spoke of our relation to other species of these world's inhabitants when he said, The greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. And Buddha quoted, When a man has pity on all living creatures, then only is he noble. We are responsible for our animal survival or the disappearance of it. 
And so, through the choices we make to preserve the Earth and its inhabitants for future generations, we also personally choose beauty and peace within ourselves and within our world. So spend an unforgettable day feasting your eyes on and appreciating nature's wonders at the Malacca Zoo. With its beautiful landscapes and pleasant blend of natural settings, this is one place that is sure to captivate you and leave you enchanted with the fascinating animals of Asia.